Okay. So you grew up in a two-parent home? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I grew up in a, um, a two-family home. Um, for the most part, growing up for me, it was great. Okay. Um, you know, we rode bikes. We played outside. You know, we had our extended family with our cousins, our aunts, our okay. uncles, our grandparents, and um, people came to visit. My mom and dad, uh, my father's from Trinidad, so okay. we used to have, you know, they used to have fish fries on Friday night okay. and, you okay. know, um, friends come over and, you know, play music and have, you know, little get togethers. Okay. And so everything was really, really great for me um, in my younger years. Um, it, it changed when I was about 13, okay. um, when I learned at that point in time that things that, you know, my, with my parents was not what I thought it was. And, and how, how did you take to that, that um, learning that things weren't what you thought it was? And... It was, it was tough, right? Mm -hmm. So here you are thinking that, um, things were perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and I, then in my mom, I have to give her a testament to her. Okay. Uh, because she really wanted me to believe that things were okay. Mm. And while her world was falling apart, mm. I'm looking back, I see that now. Um, but I didn't at the time. You know, I actually, how I found out that my father was um, using drugs was um, a cousin of mine. We were walking home from school because I had seen my other, my uncle, my mom's brother, paying my school tuition. Mm -hmm. And um, we were walking home and I said, um, you know, Uncle, Uncle Nate was at school today and he didn't have any kids that went to school there. His, his children went to a different school. I was like, I wonder why he was there. He was like, oh, you don't know? Your dad's on drugs. Mm. And I'm like, what? And just came right out and <laughs> just, told you like that. Just that easy. Right. And, um, from then on, you know, now you start to pay attention to things, right? Um, and I, I went home and I asked my dad, and you know, I said, "Well, are you on are you on drugs?" And um, thank God he's been clean now for I believe almost fifteen, Excellent. sixteen years, and Great. so I'm thankful that he was able to uh, come out of that um, and come into recovery um, because it was a it was very very tough um, mm -hmm. from that day on. So you're talking about sometimes coming home and, you know, he gave the car to one of his, mm. you know, dealers for the, the weekend, you know, or sold, you know, the furniture or, mm. you know, the money was gone. So it was it was very, very tough. But um, and, you know, I, I just remember one time and, and, and this was the. The, the, the thing that changed my life forever mm. um, at that point in time was after coming home, um, you know, he had been in, I don't know if you have ever been around someone that, a binge. Um, that was on a binge. Yes. And it was bad. Yes. It was really bad. I remember binge days for my loved ones as well. Yeah. yeah and uh, my mom had actually taken me to get him from a house mm. um, and had brought him home and um wait your mother took you to a drug house to pull your dad out of it yes why did she take you because i think that she was trying to save him mm. and so my father he, and i had a special relationship yeah. right um he was always there for me you know i was daddy's little girl and and i think that when you're trying to save somebody, you're going to do mm. everything that you possibly can. Yes. Not necessarily knowing that the damage that it was doing to me at that point in mm. time, right? Um, so we came home and he was on a binge and he was just not going to stay. And I just remember it was raining outside. I had to be maybe 14 years old at that point in mm. time. And, um, and he came home. You know, from and you know, he came inside. He was fussing about coming to get him, and you know why this and why that. And he was going back out, and I went running after him, and I said, you know, Dad, Dad, are you gonna choose drugs over me? And he left. Uh -huh. And um, I ran back in the house. My mom and I fell on the floor, and I just cried and cried. And my mom got on the floor with me, and I said, I can't believe he's choosing drugs over me. And I was very tough for a girl that had a great relationship with her father 
to have experienced and not understanding just what drugs was doing to him and his life and her and our entire family. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was a tough time. Sorry to hear that, but glad to see the overcome, hearing that your dad is clean. Yes. Seeing the product of what you've come out, turned out to be. Um, at that time, at the moment, mm -hmm. it probably bothered you, but you definitely superseded <laughs> that moment. And yes. so I applaud you for that. Thank you. 